became the first black woman elected to the United States Congress and the first black woman to run for president. Shirley Chisholm, Shirley Chisholm was born in New York on the 30th of November 1924. Guys, her parents were from Guyana Barbados. When Shirley was five, her and her sisters were sent to Barbados to live with their grandma. This is because her parents were struggling to balance work and raise their children to be good. Shirley would later say, Granny give me strength, dignity, and love. I learned from an early age that I was somebody. I didn't need the black revolution to teach me that. Shirley lived on her grandma's farm until she returned to New York in 1934. She went to Brooklyn College in 1946 and gave a Bachelor of Art in Social Poetry. <laughs> and gained a Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. She also got a minor in Spanish and I speak like we do Spanish in high school but I had like this Zoom call so I missed it so I don't know if I can really speak Spanish that much but I do know a couple words though but I still can speak Spanish not fully though anyways let's get back to the video because the video is about me it's about Charlie Ch Ch Shirley Ch Ch Shirley Shirley I'm just playing with Charlie Chisholm, guys. I met Charlie Chisholm. I, 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 I guess it's, it, it's a complicated name for me. <sighs> Shirley loved debating, which means to argue a point in a professional setting. She loved to argue about including black students teaching black history and representation of women in government. Shirley loved politics and enjoyed sharing her views. She met her husband, Conrad Chisholm, in the 1940s and got married in 1949. Shirley's first job was a teacher's helper in 1946. Yeah. While she was working, she continued studying at night and gained a Master's of Art in Childhood Education in 1951. Guys, in 1964, Shirley sought to run for a seat in the New York State Assembly. Though not many organizations wanted to support her mm -mm, due to her race and sex. Shirley used her superpowers, courage, oh yeah, I can make you with my hair, oh yeah, oh yeah. And intelligence, guys. And she went for it anyway. Appealing directly for women to vote for her. She won the seat with over 18,000 votes. That is crazy. What if you had 18,000 votes? I will be so crazy. I'll be showing up. I'll be, I'll be so, mm-hmm, so, mm, 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 in the people's faces who are so rude. And I'll just be like, ha ha, loser. And I'll be like, mm -hmm. This led to Shirley Chisholm's long career in politics. In 1968, she was elected as the Democratic National Committee Woman from New York State. And then ran to be a member of Congress. Shirley won and became the first ever black woman elected to Congress. But she wouldn't stop there guys. In 1972, she ran to become president, becoming the first African American to run for major parties President of the United States nomination. Shirley described herself as a representative of the people and offered a new articulation of American identity. She said, guys, 
I'm not the candidate of Black America, although I'm black and proud. I'm not the candidate of the women's movement of this country, although I am a woman. And equally proud of that, I am the candidate of the people. And my presence before you symbolizes a new era in American political history. Mm -mm. Although she didn't win, it was a close call, guys. Shirley continued her career in politics, serving in Congress until 1982. One of Shirley's other major superpowers was her passion for helping others. During her years in Congress, Shirley had epic battles for equality and justice, as well as for civil rights, women's rights and education. When she was first elected to Congress, others looked down on her. So they put her in charge of the House Agriculture Committee. She wasn't happy with this, guys, but decided to use it to help people by expanding the food stamp program. She would later play a significant role in the creation of the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants and Children, making sure that in her words, poor babies have milk, poor children have food. Shirley's legacy is monumental, guys. She not only fought for equality and change, but also paved the way for future black women like my mama. In America politics, she inspired so many, even today. Her 1970s speech for the Equal Rights Amendment is listed as number 91 in American rhetoric's top 100 speeches of the 20th century. In 2019, the Shirley Chisholm State Park opened in New York and dedicated to her. Even as recently in 2024, her legacy is still having an impact. Netflix released a film called Shirley that follows Shirley Chisholm's life and shows her 1972 presidential run. We should all try to be like Shirley Chisholm. Ch Chisholm. Guys, I cannot pronounce her name right, so excuse me if I don't pro it, it pronounce her name right. But, anyways, we have run out of t -t 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 time. But before I leave, be brave, bold, and be ready to change the world into your life. Shirley proves that I don't need special powers to be a real life superhero. So let's all try to be heroes in our own way. Thank you guys for listening to me before, because like the last thing I said was we ran out of time. Now I'm going to continue. That is very upsetting for a while, but don't worry, we have many videos coming your way. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and subscribe to the button down below. And don't forget to check out my other video, Rare Fun Play. And peace, I'll see you guys in the next video that I do.